Hello everyone, this is Russ here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at Everspace. This is developed and published by Rockfish Games. It's available now on the Xbox Store uh, via the Game Preview Program priced at £24.99, that's $29.99. Uh, it's also going to be available on Windows 10 PC and once it's available, if you've brought it on Xbox One, you will be able to play it at no additional cost on Windows 10 PC. Um, via Xbox's Play Anywhere program, so yeah, if you grab it on Xbox now, you'll be able to play it on Windows 10 for free. Um, right, so we're going to jump into the game now, um, starting from the very beginning, to, it'll be the tutorial section without spoiling much more of the game for people that don't want to know story and anything like that, so let's get cracking. Pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh... Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. Okay, so you move forward with the right trigger. The right trigger, left trigger even. <laughs> Can't even see that properly myself. Back with left bumper. Um, left and right using the right stick. Like so. Strafe in with the left stick. Yeah, hover and boost and all that business. There we go. So that's all on the screen there. Where are we going? Going to that. Let's begin by shooting targets. Okay. Well, that seems easy enough. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Uh, okay, understood. Right, so select the next primary weapon by tapping up on a D-pad. Holding down up on a D-pad, a selection wheel will open, okay. So, oh, that's okay, that's that. Targets are here. That exploded right next to it. Use missiles on the next targets. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. Okay. So to target lock, press the right stick in to target lock. And fire with right bumper. Pretty straightforward. It appears as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. So there's the target. We just aim at it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what's this? Uh, we can choose where we want to go next. Yeah, so let's go to the bottom one. Why not? So I take it this is where like, the rogue roguelike elements of the game come into effect. You don't know what you're going to be jumping to and what's available. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Okay, so our fuel gauge is the meter on the top right of the screen, I believe. Let's get over here towards this fuel. Now, I am playing in first person. You can switch to third person if you want to, um, whatever you prefer. The options are there. You get it at the beginning of the game, and I know that you can go into the options and change it if you want to while playing the game. So, let's shoot this thing. Sucking off. Let's just fly into it then, John. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we're now full. That should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. 
Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. To speed things up, use a scanning probe. Okay, let's try it out. So press B button to use your currently selected consumable. Uh, tap in right on the D-pad, switch between consumables, holding right on the D-pad will open a selection wheel. So we've got a scanning probe already up there, so press B and I have located a container okay. at some distance. Uh -huh. You might want to use the energized boost to reach it more quickly. But be careful. Collisions at such a high speed can be fatal. So if we press X, we'll get the energized boost. Okay, there we go. Ah. Resources and a weapon, but you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. So, can I press A when next to a floating equipment that can't be picked up to open a compare menu, swap and dismantle options? Okay, so we've just picked up the beam laser on the right there, comparing it to our pulse laser. Hmm. I'm really rubbish at making these decisions, so I'm just gonna salvage it. Salvage. Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Okay. Oh, where are we? There it is. Right, so we've only got the one option to jump to now, so let's go. Some stuff over there. What's that? Compound, crystals, shield breaker missile. There's something flying around, an outlaw drone. Uh, what's this? Boosting fire and primary weapons and using devices consume energy. Pay attention to the energy bar below the crosshair. It might be a smart to wait for the energy to recharge before going into the next fight. Bring your ship to a full stop in order to increase the recharge speed. Okay, that makes sense. And what we got over there then? What is this thing? GMB fire that looks absolutely massive. Um, stop over there. What's them? Outlaw drones again. There's something there as well. Well, let's uh, drop a scanning probe. Let's see what we've got. Ah, let's brought some stuff up. Let's go and get this container. Scattergun. Oh, some fish you guys No. Independent <laughs> operators with varying affiliations, profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. Alright, let's so grab this gel and then I can turn around and see what happened to that weapon. These giant yeah. shipwrecks, what are they? Colonial fleet warships overwhelmed by Okar fighters during the war. You will find such wrecks scattered throughout the demilitarized zone. I was driving a bit too fast there, there we go, right, let's compare this. So I can just see a load of red on it, so I'm going to assume that it's no good, so I'm going to salvage it. There we go. Good that you get the confirm as well, I have to confirm that you want to salvage stuff so you can't make a, a mistake. Now we could explore even more. Um, something over there, plasma field, let's go over there. I don't want to lock onto him, thank you, or him. Check this plasma field out quick. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. Hmm. <laughs> that plasma has been fully harvested. So, I mean, there's tech containers over there. There's three of them. Uh, let's go and have a look, why not?
What's this mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brunt Prospects. Corporate behemoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. Ooh, nanoparts energy injector mark three. Have those. Okay. Where was our container? There we go. Shield booster. There's gas and all sorts of stuff. Right. Um, I don't know what that is and if it's going to damage me, but let's just try it. No. Nope. <laughs> right. Crafting. You have collected enough resources for crafting. Go to the equipment menu and see which items can be modified or crafted from scratch. As indicated by a small icon in the slot's top right corner. Okay. So that would be... There we go. Um, shield. Oh, that's upgrade, right, so... Shield booster. Yeah, build new, so we can do that. We can also build some more, like, missiles. Um, it's always good to have weapons. And there we go. Let's have the one for now, because I'm stingy. So that's the crafting menu. Um, I could spend all day exploring this stuff. Let's just jump to the next area. Right, so there we go. I think this is the final area before we get to that big gate. Uh, you have reached the final location of this sector. Fly through the jump gate in order to reach the next sector. You won't be needing any fuel for the jump. Okay, so... Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector. So, yes. Okay. Some drones down there, some fighters. I've got no more, don't believe. Shield booster and uh, energy injector, but we've got no more scanning equipment, scanning probes. So we can't really see if there's anything worth salvaging. There's loads of stuff, and I'm being attacked. Where's that coming from? What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, oh. and the Colonials uninvited me alone. guests. <laughs> Distrust runs deep. Result! Ooh. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, missile defense system. So we're gonna, we could swap that for a shield. Right, so... Hmm... Destroy your missiles within a certain range unactivated, even your own. Well, that's a bit rubbish. Um, protect your hull. I'm going to keep the shield, just because I want to. So I'm going to salvage the missile defence system. Um, see what else we've got going on. GMB fighters... Drones... I did want to look at something over there, was it that? Oh, let's go over here quick. Stop. Before we destroy anything. <laughs> okay, so that's showing up as red. So I could shoot that. Don't want to shoot it.
Hmm. Why is that one flashing? I'm tempted to blow it up. Really am. I won't, can't log on to it with uh, the missiles. That's locked on to something right over there. Um. was dumb. Didn't you know all units in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you touch one? <laughs> I can see that now, thanks. Right, well, that was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Right, so I think on that note, <laughs> we're going to leave it there before I get completely destroyed. I think we got away from it all. That was a bit... A bit naughty of me, but it was, it needed to be done. I need to see what happened there if we shot those. So, there you go. Don't shoot those big gas chamber looking things on those ships. Alright, so this is the final jump gate. Um, before I go through it, I'm going to leave it here for today because I think I'll show you a nice little chunk of the game at the beginning here, um, through the tutorial and that. and. So yeah, if this video has given you a uh, insight into the game, what it looks like, what it plays like and all that business. And if it has, please drop us a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to stick a like on, it in the, in, on the video if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.